pointed this out to me last time I was here. I never realized this, that the wheels offset because of the gun. Hello, people. Today, we're going to talk about the Vulcan cannon and its ammunition. What we have here to demonstrate is a 20 millimeter Falcon cannon barrel cutaway and 20 millimeter cartridge. To point out the important parts of this cutaway, this here is the wall of the barrel. And from this portion roughly to the rear, this is what's considered the chamber. This portion in here is the rifling, and this part of the rifling is called the groove. And this thinner raised portion is called the land. This here is your projectile. This at the rear is your case. And this is representing, this foam is representing the gunpowder inside the case. Now, what we also have, of course, as part of the cartridge is the primer. And the primer consists of three components. The cup, which we see here, and then the anvil inside, and the, then the TNT. When the primer is detonated and detonates the gunpowder, it pushes the projectile down the barrel. Now this particular cutaway projectile is of a tungsten carbide armor piercing projectile. Once the projectile leaves the barrel, the adapter at the rear and the plastic sabot fall away. These two components are there merely to guide the projectile down the barrel and protect the barrel from damage from the tungsten carbide projectile. This is what you're left with. To compare this armor piercing 20 millimeter projectile with a traditional 20 millimeter projectile in size, we see a significant difference. Now to compare the traditional 20 millimeter projectile with a 30 millimeter projectile, we see even, an even bigger difference. The case from the 30 millimeter is as long as the 20 millimeter cartridge in its entirety. Twenty and thirty millimeter ammunition, like most military calibers, are available in several different variations like tracer, incendiary, armor piercing, high energy explosives, or a combination of two or more of those components. If you want to learn more about military ammunition, there's a plethora of resources available to learn from. A group I have found to be very useful is called IAA, International Ammunition Association. You can find them on the internet and you can subscribe to their monthly magazine, but they're very informative and uh, they talk in depth about uh, subjects like this. Thanks for watching people. Make it a great day. 
Another impressive dogfighting weapon, the M61 Gatling gun, filmed here at 10 times normal speed, demonstrated its 6,000 round per minute capability throughout the entire F-14 flight envelope. During firing, gun gases are deflected away from the engine 